Good morning everybody. Today I am off to Kyoto and I am super excited because I'm about to take the Shinkansen, which if you're not familiar is the bullet train. It's gonna be going just about 300 kilometers an hour, so like 175 miles an hour, which is the fastest that I will have ever gone on land. So that should be really exciting. Thank you. Well, the Japanese sure know how to make a train. Taking a ride on the bullet train was so incredible. I've never done anything like it and it's the fastest that I've ever gone on the ground, ever. So that is really cool. Just short of hopping in a million dollar supercar, that's the best that I'm gonna do. So, it's been a great day so far, but my voice is definitely going away from me and I'm still quite sick, so. I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the day, catch up on some work, stop talking, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm just gonna cut right to that. Well, hello, I am finally back. Not one, but two days later, there's a, uh, a typhoon that's going through Japan right now and uh, it's just been raining nonstop, so I took that opportunity to get some work done because I was way behind and now the rain is finally letting up. So let's go explore Kyoto. I'm off to uh, Gion, which is kind of the old part of Kyoto. And uh, on the way, I've got a special treat, so let's go. I feel like you can't come to Japan and not go to the Pokemon Center, so I had to come check it out. And I'll probably go to it again. The one in Tokyo is supposedly much larger, so I'll probably go check that one out as well, but uh, now it's on to uh, real Kyoto. Well, what an incredibly cool spot. I uh, took me a while to get to this exact place, but this is what I had in mind when I started my journey out here. I headed to the area called Gion, and from there I headed up the hill because there's a smaller little area that's similar to this. It's kind of like the old town, but it's nowhere near as good. And uh, I was getting kind of discouraged and then I looked on Instagram and I figured out where this was and basically you head up the hill and a little bit south and you will find a massive village of all of these old, old buildings and it's really cool because they've retained that old style Japanese feel even though you do get some of these newer shops that look like this. Um, but for the most part, I would say it's like 90% the old buildings that have been renovated inside for either new restaurants or new shops. So it's really cool and uh, this is exactly what I had in mind when I set out to come to Japan. So I am just stoked. It has been a beautiful experience and uh, I'm loving it. With that being said, I am going to again spin ahead in the future because uh, I'm gonna just ride the subway home, get some dinner and get to work, get to sleep. So I will see you guys in one second in the morning. Good morning. So today I got up nice and early. I'm trying to head to the bamboo forest, but it is so early that I'm the only one in the train station and uh, it's really quiet out. So hopefully that is the same with the bamboo forest. So let's get over there.
beautiful out here and I've seen three other people. It's been so quiet. Once again, another key to traveling, I think, is just getting up way earlier than everyone else and you're gonna have a great time. But so since I have it completely empty, I think I'm gonna try and fly the drone down this little corridor right here, see how that goes. You know, sometimes I do things that uh, even I look back on and I'm like, God, that was record-breaking stupidity. And this was one of those cases. The way that drones work is that they use GPS and the Russian equivalent GLONASS to uh, target their position and maintain that position when you're not holding the controls and making it do something. And in the bamboo forest right there, it didn't have either of those things. And I decided to fly it anyway in a tight corridor and it was kind of bouncing off the bamboo a little bit but the DJI Mavic Pro handled it like a champ and it was only slightly scary but we made it out and I think the footage is going to be pretty cool so I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> 